Just gotta work and you know I'm doing that Never stop, never stop, always on attack Locked in the path, never getting off track Even though I'm back, added to my bag And I got plenty more where that came from But my price is right, I never change, bro, I don't get it so You're gonna love this one. Yo, and, <laughs> and that's TikTok for you. What the fuck is going on, dude? Welcome, Dunk Life Daily, where we break it happen every day. And we dunk every single day. But not physically dunk with the ball in the rim, but we dunk life, baby. And I didn't mean to say dunk life, I meant we dunk life like we're taking life and we're dunking it we're taking the ball slamming it dude we did we just we just, we're in the moment it's actually a perfect metaphor i don't know how i haven't thought of it before and we dunk it we get up we rise above our expectations and we jam it and we don't fucking do that weak shit we don't fucking do that weak shit here are you hearing what i'm saying listen to me what i'm trying to say is we don't do any of that weak shit here okay I am not the type that likes to dunk it softly, softly. That's in my Elevate remix that got copyrighted that no one heard. That no one heard. Help me get famous, which is Amos famous, very famous, so I could do high production quality videos for you and I can make a music video of my Elevate remix and we can enjoy. I only want to do that to enjoy more. That's all I want to do. Am I spitting bars again? Maybe what I do because they come to my head? I can't help it. That's just the way my brain works. Open mic last night didn't get to sh work. It was closed. I'm fucking pissed. I think Hurricane Dorian spooked them. So we're getting spooked by hurricanes now? Obviously. I mean, we're going to get tortured. And it's a small place. It's a small venue. So I'm guessing that the place closed. Did I call and they didn't answer? Yes. Did I drive 40 minutes and get there and it was closed and nobody was even there and the fucking doors were locked? And I was like, maybe it's still open. I'm obviously like, it's not. And I was like, yes, I'm there. Did I call afterwards and they didn't answer? Yes. Did I say it like I justified it that I should have called? I called ahead? Yes. But either way, it didn't answer. So it's like, even if I called ahead, I still would have had to go there. So, <laughs> but I, they, they didn't post it anywhere. It's like a cheap website. So like it just says every week it's there. They don't have like an updated fucking calendar. Sorry for the cursing, but yo, um, just full transparency, I recorded this before and it like went so bad because I was like still waking up, so I'm like Russian now, but like I'm not Russian like I'm from Soviet Union, I'm Russian like I'm, I'm out of time, that sounds like a Drake line, here we go, back in my mind, god damn it, I can't stop this shit all the time. Bars, yo, I watched the Joker uh, trailer, that shit looks dope, dude, you have to go see it, I'm talking to myself, I have to go see that, I can't wait to see it, Joaquin Phoenix looks insane, dude, like, he just, like, he really looks good in it, like, I don't even recognize him, not that that's, like, the sign of a good role, I'm just saying in general, I didn't even know that's what he looked like, I saw the movie, um, No Country for Old Men, is that even him? I, I keep thinking of that movie, No Country for Old Men, but is that even Joaquin Phoenix? I think it is. Um, but that was a fantastic movie. That's where I, like, met him. Like, I know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, directors, screenplay. Is it even him? Anyway, he's insane in it. It looks incredible. It just looks so well done. I love... I feel like as time goes on, movies keep getting better. Yes, there's duds and things like that, but the cinematography, the way people understand minds, and the way they get into the roles is insane. And I'm just so excited. It looks like... The Joker is more, like, insane, you know what I mean? Like, you kind of see how he gets insane. I love that crazy shit. Who's in the friggin' film? Stars Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, Javier Bardem. That's not even friggin' Joaquin Phoenix. Or is he in this movie, too? I thought he was in that movie, No Country for Old Men. I guess he's not. Javier Bardem is who I'm thinking of. That's why they don't look the same. Because <laughs> I'm thinking of that guy. Yeah, that's him. So, my bad. Anywho, um... What's good? Uh, Dunk Life Daily. Do I want to change the name of the podcast to something like Enjoy More? Yes. Am I going to do it because of my algorithm? Probably not. Maybe I will, though, because I don't care. Do I change way too often? Yes. Is my mind a TikTok? Yes. Was TikTok made for me or was I made for TikTok? <laughs> the same thing. And that's it. Chris D'Elia, I'm going to watch it right now. He cracked. I made this little super cut. That's it. Just enjoy this. Ready? Oh, here it comes. Blast! Oh, what? what's going on over there? I'm, what's coming on over there? Uh oh, here we go. Blast! What the fuck? Ah, oh, come on, kids. Here we go. Oh, no. Blast! Um, uh oh. Blast! <laughs> that cracks me up. Every time I hear that. Time. The amount of energy he puts in his blast. I'm a huge fan of him, as you know. But I made that little cut together because 
I didn't even know that that was the name of the episode. I just watched the episode. It's called Blast. It was his latest podcast. And he's just talking about these toilets that blast water on you because you're having sex in them. It's a long story. But the point is he was saying, like, oh, that's even better. If I'm having sex in there and you're trying to stop me and you splash water on me, it makes it sexier. He's hilarious. And then he was doing this blast. And it was just, like, irrelevant of the story, the fact that he was just, like, exploding with that much energy was cracking me up. I can't watch him do it and not get like a pop out of me i can't like i can't stay straight it's hilarious so enjoy that um what else enjoy more uh have a good day what the fuck you know um so hamstrings going well i barely made progress but i made a little bit yesterday every time i sit it hurts i'm gonna make i'm gonna extend my rehab mode because i think i made a little bit of progress which is fueling my rehab mode so i can see the downhill i gave myself two weeks to wrap my brain around it and now as i make progress i'm like you know what i gotta stick to it i gotta i gotta keep it i gotta keep the progress going i can't push it i don't want to switch it up yet because i've made a little bit of progress so uh, instead of doing like just the glute bridges, I moved my foot out a little bit. If you want more details on that, fucking look up glute bridges. I'm just doing like the very basic hamstring exercises, but the babyest way possible. So instead of like doing like the ex- other extreme would be like heavy lifting on my hamstring. So instead of heavy lifting, I'm basically just like stimulating the muscle to the very minimum. And I'm just trying to get some strength in there, but like it's it's really tough. Um, but my hips and my hamstrings are super weak. So I'm, I'm killing my hips because they're so like they don't. They don't put any load on my hamstring, most of the movements that I'm doing, so or all the movements. I'm not going to do any movements that hurt my hamstring. So I'm getting my hips as strong as possible because they're so weak, and that's why I'm inflexible, and that's why all this is occurring because all the imbal- imbalances in my muscles. Am I a dunk master trainer? No. Do I want to give you structure and try? Yes. Is that the way my brain works? No. My brain is like jello. It's like you have a loose structure. You have a loose structure. It's jiggly. It's a little wiggly. Everybody likes it, and you just enjoy it. You can't really put too much into it you know what it's about you put it on the platter and it barely holds still you put it in a bowl and it shapes to the bowl that's me i'm fluid i'm like bruce lee <coughs> whoa so uh yeah um i i don't like structure um what so yeah um another thing i wanted to mention yesterday i said something funny in the podcast and i was like oh, I, I hope someone comments it and i remember saying it but i don't remember what the thing is i can think about if i want to use my brain power for that but i don't um, and that's what I love about this is I say so much shit that I forget like 99% of it that when you comment it, it cracks me up. Am I using that tactic to get you to comment and engage and build my post up as a Ponzi scheme? Of course. And you know that already. And you know that. And if you don't know that, that's on you. That's on you for not being cerebrally quick. You got to be quicker than that. Um, and what's happening today? That's all that matters is it's happening. It doesn't matter what is it and what is happening, but it's happening. And that's why it feels so good. Woo! Um, love and life. Have to live in the moment. Not dunking is like, I have no goals right now, so I'm like just trying to get healthy. It's very like, it's good. It's good and it's bad. It's good and it's bad. It's a blessing and a curse. A blessing and a curse. I'm like really learning about my body, really trying to take it slow, really trying to do it. <laughs> and it's like really hard because I really want to jump, but I don't. But I'm feeling really good about my physique, meaning like, by doing my hip work and holding my legs out, just hold your legs out straight and hold them as long as you can and you'll feel crazy muscles firing. And the fact that I can't do that forever makes, and not even forever, like I should be able to do it way longer than I can. I can only do it for like 20, 30 seconds. It makes me feel so weak, which is a blessing and a curse, blessing and a curse because I'm so weak. I have something I could fucking push mentally. It's so hard for me to just do endurance type things where I just hold things. So I got to work that brain. I'm going to work myself to the bone and then... It feels good after I'm done. When I hold my legs like that, if I feel my hips firing when I'm done. They feel crazy loose. So I'm going to push that to the extreme because I think that's the key. I think getting those hips will loosen everything in my pelvic region, and I don't know any more than that. Um, but that's not my strength, okay? Um, what did I want to say? I don't remember. Anyway, let's just get to the on this day in history because I know it's your favorite part. I know you guys are dying for that. Okay, dying for that. Dying for that. 1666. September 5th, Great Fire of London ends, leaving 13,200 houses destroyed and eight dead. Damn. F- what happened? <laughs> I, I wish I don't even know about this Great Fire, but all I do know is that it's 1666, and that's 666, and that's definitely the devil coming and burning houses for some somebody did something bad in London. But anyway, I'm sorry. I hope, I hope that no more fires like that happen. 1839, the first opium war begins in China. Oh, wow. Today in film, 1958, uh uh-oh, here we go. First color video recording of magnetic tape presented, Charlotte, North Carolina. I I saw first color, and I thought it was going to be the first color cartoon or something like that, like a new age one, and I was ready to watch it. Fiddlesticks Friday, remember that, baby? 
Flippy the Frog. Today in music, 1993, music Will Rogers Follies closes at Palace Theater in New York City after 983 performances, six Tony Awards. Today in sport, 1972, 11 Israeli athletes taken hostage and later killed by Palestinians. Is this the Olympics? Yeah. Black September group at the Munich Olympics. That's effing nuts. So I'm sorry that happened, and I hope it doesn't happen again. Spread more love, and it won't. We all got We all are skin people, and we all need to treat people like treat others like we're in the same tribe. No more. We're gonna be, we're gonna mesh our skin together, okay? We're one mesh uh, skin skin creature race, okay? That's us. Like this. See how my skin is touching my skin? I'm interlocking my fingers. All right. Um, I want to watch the uh, Joker trailer. I want to show you one part really quick, if I can. Can I do this? No, I can't. I'm not gonna even bother. Dunk lifer of the day, baby. Let's do it. Um, by the way, Bahamas still donate if you can. The link will be below. And if you want to donate to Steven's life, go ahead. Support me in any way you can. Share. TikTok, baby. Fucking follow all my stuff and just enjoy. Literally enjoy me more and you help. Thank you. Um, was this yesterday? No, this wasn't yesterday. Oh, it's not refreshed. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. I want to make more music. I want to make... Um, I want to make more videos. I'm going to make the part two of the how to gain 10 inches video from 40 to 42.5. A lot of struggles. Again, loose jello structure. I'm going to have some milestones in there, but I'm going to go off however I want to go off. It's going to be fun to watch, but I don't know if it's going to be um, super detailed. It's going to be all my stories, whatever I feel like is valuable of the story of behind that progress or the process. And that's how it's going to go. And that's what you get. You come here for loose jello structures and that's what you get. Um, What's up? So, Aiden Joseph, I have a question. Ever since I started jumping off two feet and it's left to right, I've tried to right to left, but it feels awkward. I'm not as explosive, but I can jump almost as high. Should I continue? I would say, I get this question a lot. I would say do both, practice both. It's always good to do both. Most of us want to play basketball with it, I think. If, if you just want to dunk too, even if you just want to be a pro dunker, like that's going to be a new thing too coming up. Practice both because in contests you want to do all tricks and some tricks are easier and not that you want to do the easier trick But some tricks you can't do like for me like a scoop I have to do with my left hand to do a scoop if I jump right left So that makes it harder because I got to learn with my left hand So but again, I want to learn my left hand So I want to do good with my left hand good off all plants come off different angles And if you want to dunk in games like me, it's good to be have all plants so You can dunk on people all different ways and you kind of are surprised and you're like, oh, he's taking off or he's going to he can't dunk from this side of the angle next thing you know knots on their neck and that's how it works um, and that's it. So thank you for all your support. Hope you got some energy. Hope you enjoyed. And you're going to enjoy your day. Go make someone's enjoy and day enjoyable. Maybe that's not your personality. Maybe that's mine. Maybe you just enjoy and maybe you're happier and maybe your energy makes you do whatever you do. Maybe you're a farmer and now you enjoy. So now you pick the better fruit instead of just like lazily picking fruit. You know what I mean? What do farmers do? Fruit? What do farmers do? What do farmers do? Question of the day. What do farmers do? Farm? Obviously. Are they still doing that or they have new technology? What's happening with new technology? Did I do everything I usually do on this podcast? I think so. I think so. I want to change the name and get new posters. A third poster so you can t- – how many <laughs> – what if I just had so many names for the podcast? I'm just covered with posters. Like what are all those posters? Like oh, all the names of the podcast. It just keeps changing. But you know the theme's been the same. It's been me. It's been entertainment. Let's go. Open mic coming as soon as possible. I got to get my feet wet. I want to get that stage time over with the first one. I want to yell at those people. I want to tell them it's my first time and be like, you are in for a treat. You're welcome. I'm going to start I'm gonna start my stand-up like, oh, I feel so bad for you guys. I'm so sorry this took so long for me to get up here. But the storm, that's my first time. I got to sign a list. But soon I'll be so famous you guys won't have to wait. So thank you for coming out to my <laughs> – imagine. It would be ridiculously fucking – psychotic but that's what it's about live psychotic go outside and act like you broke your brain the fact is that people don't like act regular like oh i don't want to think too much or like i think i'm losing my mind like if you don't think that that's insane to me and that's how i'll end it and that's how we'll do it and i love you and have a great one enjoy your life enjoy the moment be patient with me i need patience send me your love and patience toodaloo (laughs) 